yes, version 2.0 of Admin Pro is out. In this video, we'll talk about what's new in version 2.0. If you've seen all the previous videos that I've been releasing as I add one tool at a time, you're already up to date. If you have not been, this is gonna be a summary for you. So let's jump right in and take a look. I'm going to click on Admin Pro to bring it up and I'm going to start with new tools. First new tool is Show File Table. This tool gives you access to the raw SQL data of a file table that holds native, native file paths and image paths and you can use this information to troubleshoot import errors, uh, see what's going on in the back end, and just a generally helpful tool, especially if you have document identifier already exist error. This will help you troubleshoot that. Next tool is export a search for concordance QRY file. This is if you're using concordance together with relativity and you have data in both places and you wanna take data from relativity and find the exact same records in the concordance database. This will export QRY file, you go to concordance, import it, and you have on the screen documents that you're looking for. And the next tool I have is Native Exporter. This does exactly the same as what Desktop Client does or Integration Points, except it lets you name your native files by any field you want, and it's way quicker to get to. There is no lengthy process of setting things up, logging in, and so on. You're right there. Next tool is copy text to folder and this will take any text field and it will export it out to a text file so you can use it to export um, OCR version of redacted document. Maybe you have a translation field that you need to export out or you could take any text field and export it out to a file. So those are the new tools from version 2.0. I'm going to quickly go over tools from version 1 for those of you who did not see all my previous videos. So we're going to the beginning, document summary. This is a quick summary of, the, of all the documents that you have selected. So maybe you've processed some documents, you learned it outside production, and you want to send a client a summary of email, how many documents, how many pages, and so on. You can use this tool. Uh, has JPEG images, it is very helpful to run before you run a production. So you know if you have any documents in color or in black and white, this way if you, uh, planning to produce only black and white, you can run this tool, know if you have anything in color, re-image it, and then you can run your production. Next, we have Calculate and Doc, and this is useful if you're getting, uh, let's say, PDF as an outside production, and you're using PDF name as your control number. Well, you can use either one of these tools to generate an end doc number. The first tool will use uh, next document number minus one, and it'll use, use it to calculate your end doc number, or the second tool will use the actual page count if you have your document imaged, and that will calculate your end document number. And the next tool is renumber documents. This would just generate sequential number on a document level, or renumber images where it will actually use page count to calculate back doc number and doc number. So you can use these tools to generate numbers without writing productions. And those are the tools that are included in the Admin Pro 2.0. Again, this is a free download. Go to my website, hashtag legal.com, download it completely free. When you go to download section or the checkout section, it may look like it's asking for a credit card number. It does not. It's just a store that I'm using. That's how it's built. Uh, go ahead and just fill out your contact information and click download and you'll be able to download this, uh, this software. If you have any ideas for more tools to add to this collection, be sure to email me at nick at hashtag legal.com. I'm always open to interesting suggestions and new ideas. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.